What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Real Time. I'm Rob. I'm Bryce. And I'm Zaf. And today we are back with Season 2, Episode 7 of And With An E. This one is called Memory Has As Many Moods As The Temper. Last episode, obviously, we saw Anne's new haircut from, <laughs> from Marilla's chopping off the green hair. And she also reunited with Gilbert after being separated for super long. They shared a cute little moment on the, next to the christmas tree i'm excited for them to be back mm-hmm. in the same place excited for gilbert to be back in general i'm excited for gilbert's friend bash to be back or not to be back but just to be present here um i love him i know he's gonna go through some conflict here coming up i mean he was last episode but i think we'll, we will conquer all this conflict and i think it's gonna be just very satisfactory at the end of this season bash being on board with everyone i feel like he's gonna have his struggles he's definitely one gonna he's definitely gonna want to leave but gilbert's gonna just bring him right back and we're gonna get through this together bash last episode was the big play though of course it seemed like everyone in the in avonlea was in, in it yeah. or like watching at least everyone attended it was pretty cool there was a lot of fill-ins that we had to happen that had to happen we had Anne go in as the boy replacing josie pie which is very fitting for many reasons one because she kind of was playing a boy last episode at uh carmody and because josie pie also sucks and she's been so mean to Anne, so it's fitting that she got to steal her shine there and also matthew had to take over for billy andrews obviously billy andrews one of the fan least favorites here on this channel we don't like him at all Mm-mm. and yeah it was a lot of matthew last episode too we talked about that in the outro of last video but i think there was a little bit of uh, growth character development there with Matthew. He's definitely very, uh, a socially anxious person. And that was just a big step, him like performing at a play and kind of being the, the center of attention for the last part. He signed off the play. So good for him. I'm happy for him, but hopefully, hopefully we get a little bit of a time jump and get the hair back. Cause yeah. Zuff likes the hair, but it's looking rough to me. I want to see the the red hair back uh to its full length all right guys well that is pretty much it before we do get into this episode if you have been liking all the and with an e reactions make sure to leave a like drop a comment and subscribe check out all the links in our description as well we got the patreon discord all of our social media is down there as well as the address to our po box so make sure to send us something to be opened up on camera like everything you see behind us right now for our show mail time and with all that being said guys we're going to get right into the episode and with an e season two episode seven Memory has as many moods as the temper. Let's do it. Not a Marilla flashback. I don't think. I think she's actually having some problems. Oh, shit. We're here. Oh, what is going on, Marilla? I think she might be sick. And I've chosen my vocation. Medical school. So, I know it's for me. Riveting. Dude doesn't give a fuck, Gilbert. All he cares about is which freaking student he's going to marry. <laughs> All they do is just look and smile at each other. Ooh, 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 ooh. Such a freak, bro. I'm only asking for a small portion of your time, sir. Tell me, should your father simply give his crops away because someone wants them, feels he deserves them? Bro, you're a fucking teacher. You're supposed to be teaching. You signed up for this. He's hands down one of the worst and most uninteresting characters ever. Yes. Gilbert, you don't need to be in school. Dear readers, let's pick up from where we last left off. It's not the same. Did I mention? Has to be so frustrating. What are you calling? Leave it. Oh, why would you do such a thing? It should have been better by now. Ooh. Oh, the end drawing. And now, Cole and Diana are allowed to go as their parents yelled at a piano concert. With most most education. Education. Man, what's going on? Like a migraine or something? It was more than that. I'll leave it to you, Michael. Oh, oh, whoa. Marilla is not okay. Maybe she just needs some rest. Mm. 
Marilla flashback. Oh, shit. This is some deep rooted trauma. Before. This is gonna make a proper Bridgerton ball. They keep saying like society, and that's yeah. when you go out to look for. I feel like this is like a very good first per first party for Anna experience. The artist in you must love all this. It's still who you are, not anymore. I can't believe Billy f messed up his hand that bad. Her wrist. Those were her books. They said just where she left them. That's what you meant. By, in your way, you were married. Yes. Never read chapter 10. It's felt like a hole in my soul. Oh, that's the one that the, the orphanage lady ripped out. And this is my niece, Diana. Ravi de vous connaître, Mademoiselle Cheminade. Oh, C'est magnifique, enchanté. <laughs> Diana is a budding pianist herself. Oh, I forgot Diana does love the piano. Yeah, huh? she was singing with your thumb off. That was one of the craziest moments of the show. Is it something that you aspire to, Diana? Career, dear. Your piano. Oh, no. I suppose I could keep it up on a recreational basis, if it were agreeable to my husband. So that doesn't have to be an exact replica of your parents. Okay? Truth, Diana. You can do whatever you want. Excuse me. Uh, lovely to meet you. Excuse me. Whoa. Uh, there's a bird cage on her hair. With a bird in there. Yeah. That's what they call the bird cage girl. Was that a real bird? It'd probably be pooping, right? <laughs> I'm thrilled to be among your lovely faces. But we feel the absence of one. What a face it was. Gertrude. How did she pass away? I'm not sure. Maybe just old age. Rest in peace to her. And look what I'm left with. Nothing but a room full of the most wonderful friends. To Gertrude. Gertrude. To Gertrude. To the most wonderful couple, my romantic ideal. Gertie and Joe. Thank you. Gertie and Joe. She's like, they were a couple? I don't think Diana knew that. Yeah, because Diana's parents just make her live in this little bubble that she needs to pop. Now I remember that the real world was wide and that a varied field of hopes and fears, of sensations and excitement. This is literally what she's supposed to be doing. Reading for this the is, beautifuls. This is her group of people for sure. Mm -hmm. The beautifuls, they're called. She was the first person with whom I didn't have to hide. That sounds like a miracle. This is a good person to talk to, Cole. Ugh. Don't take a fall. I feel like we're watching like a horror movie. Yeah, it's kind of creepy. Something bad's gonna happen, I know how. Oh, she took a fall. Jesus, dude. Banged her head up. Probably not good when she's already having problems, it seems, with her head. Why won't you get out of bed? She can't help it. She misses Michael. Yep. Go on downstairs and be of use. Go on downstairs now. Do you like turning into her mom? I don't know. Their mom was just so sad about Michael, she just didn't leave. I've had these headaches before. It's different this time. Oh, so? Is it worse? Before, if, if, if I went blind or, or wound up an invalid. It didn't matter, it. but now Anne's here. Now there's Anne to think of. I won't be a burden to Anne. Rest now. This will pass. Well, I like seeing Matt take charge like that. Yeah. Taking care of her. Mataru, I should call him. Isn't this just the most remarkable of evenings? What's wrong? She's going. Diana's going through like a a realization or yeah. something. She, her mind's being blown. A reality check. I've known Anne Josephine and Matt Gertrude my whole life. They 
They can't have... They weren't. They were, Diana. Very much so. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, this sweet man. Go where your passion leads you. Try clay. Cole the artist. It'll strengthen your wrist. Yeah, that's true. You don't have to just draw. You can do all kinds of different art. Good talk. I feel like every like all the kids are getting all this great advice and having such a good time and then Diana's world is just being flipped <laughs> upside down. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep your lifestyle a secret. My parents certainly don't know. That must mean it's wrong. Do her parents not know? I mean, if they did, if they knew, they probably wouldn't tell her. Yeah. Shouldn't we be happy for her? I think it's spectacular. There's so much more possibility. You need to open up your mind, Diana. Diana and her parents didn't know about the way things were between you and Gertrude. They will think of it what they will. She doesn't care what they think. I think I'm like you and Gertrude. Yeah. For sure. We know, Cole. We know. You have a life of such joy before you. Thank you. Yeah. Let's rouse those girls or you'll miss your train. It's just, um, it's just sugar. <laughs> Matt, you don't know how to do this. Uh-uh. I couldn't remember uh, what you took. I didn't ask you to put... Oh, for goodness sake, Erla. Just, just, just let me help you. You just can lie up here thinking terrible thoughts and not let me try to do anything for you. Let her know, Matt. That you were robbed of your life, your possibilities. I wasn't just by her, it was me. You had to stay here and take care of me, otherwise... Otherwise, nothing. It's been you and me all these years. She'd lost a child. She had other children. We've needed to talk about it. No one can understand what that must have been like. We all lost Michael. And you lost Michael. And you got up every morning. And you raised me. And you will do that for Anne. Because you are stronger. Mm. Matt is just so, like straight out of a freaking... The best quote dictionary. Whatever we're facing, we'll face it as a family. The three of us. The Cuthberts have my heart. What happened? <laughs> Little mishap. It's nothing. I fell down the stairs. Yeah. I think I learned some things about love, too doesn't look the same for everyone. It can come in so many forms. And how can there be anything wrong with a life if it's spent with the person you love? Shit is getting real this evening. I remembered that the real world was wide. And that a varied field of hopes and fears of sensations. She's feeling better. Awaited those who had the courage to go forth. Gilbert doesn't need the school, bro. There's no way the teacher could teach him more about being a doctor than a book. That's what I mean. Perhaps the good doctor can tell us the answer. Shut the fuck up, dude. Why do you gotta pick on him every time? The answer is modifier, sir. And I managed to learn that with no extra time from you. <laughs> Suck it. Gilbert Blythe takes no shit. Ruby hasn't even talked to Gilbert once. I know, I'm kind of disappointed. I need more Ruby. Rubert. That's the ship name, Rubert. You'll get there. If you go where your passions lead you. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's Gilbert's like go-to face. Like the... Yeah. You You're did. right. You got a point. What's Cole doing in here? Make an art. Play. Yeah. Hello. Looks like a little friggin' baby. What? He's holding like a friggin' baby. What? Are you going to be a writer? Maybe. Maybe I'll be a lot of things. I now dub thee 
pen of possibility. That's kind of a bummer we didn't get to see Diana's storyline wrap up. I think it'll continue, going. yeah. All right. Well, Marilla is going through some uh, health issues now. I can't believe that. That's such a bummer. It started off with Matt. Now Matt's taking care of Marilla, but I think she'll be fine. I think she's just having some migraines and stressing out a lot. I think it's uh, overcomable. I think we can conquer this with her. And I'm just super, super excited to see. Like, th they just love each other now. Like, they, Matthew and Marilla had just such a beautiful talk. And they realize how much and means to them how important everything is and how big of an awesome family they are yeah it's definitely rooted from their mother and, and michael back then we saw a little flashback that their mom was just bedridden for like a year after michael passed and it forced marilla to like uh become like all strict and, and mother-like and take care of matthew and he admitted that he shut down so I think that talk was wonderful. I think it was well, well overdue. And I love the fact that they said that Anne is helping them kind of reverse that trauma right now. And I think it's super true. And just, I, I think that Anne coming into their lives was like a lot more of a blessing than they maybe realized at the time. And I think mm -hmm. they're, they're all helping each other, which is great. It was a really big episode for the kids. They all went to Aunt Josephine's big party, and it was definitely the biggest for Cole and Diana, I think. Cole was just like, I think he finally came to terms with like who he is, mm -hmm. and I, I mean, it's confirmed he, he is gay, I think, with, with him saying that he thinks that he's just like Aunt Josephine and Gertrude. Yeah. So I'm, I'm glad that he has come to that conclusion um but on the other hand diana i think she was caught pretty off guard with the realization that her aunt josephine uh was in love with another woman because her whole life that she just never perceived it that way i don't think her family knows about it either and she just like the way that she ra was raised and like her parents they kind of it, it made i think they make her feel like because it was kept a secret that means it's wrong and I don't know I that like as I've said that storyline didn't really have a conclusion this episode so I think that 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 probably will carry on I, I think maybe there might be some conflict between Diana and Cole maybe I hope not but I don't know I hope Diana comes around and, and realizes that it's okay yeah I think that Diana just the way she's been raised is like a very sheltered and like yeah. proper She's never been exposed to that kind of thing no. before, I don't think. Because they even brought up, like, well, do you want to be a pianist? And she's like, well, we'll do it as, like, a side thing. Yeah. But they're like, well, you don't have to. It's never been, like, a thought to her no. that she could do that as a career. Like, I'm going to stay home and, and take care of my husband and be, like, a, a mm -hmm. housewife. And I think that definitely Cole and especially Anne are a lot more progressive thinking, which... I think will be great for Diana, but it's just going to be an adjustment. And yeah, I just think she'll realize eventually, because like the whole time they're looking at Anne being like she's this like magnificent old yeah, rich lady. She's like their idol. Yeah, she's their idol. And this whole time she's been living this secret lifestyle, but that doesn't take away from the fact that she's this like boss ass mm -hmm. woman who is rich and you know has all this luxurious stuff so i think diana will hopefully realize here soon that she doesn't have to think just the narrow-minded way she's been thinking all right guys so that is pretty much it for this episode if you have been liking all of the and with an e reactions make sure to leave a like drop a comment and subscribe check out all the links in our description as well we got the patreon discord all of our social medias down there as well as the address to our po box make sure to send us something to be opened up on camera like everything you see behind us right now for our show mail time and with all that being said guys we will see you next time for season two episode eight of and with an e peace out